Secrets of the Night, A Vampire's Tale was a story of love, deception, and the timeless struggle between the allure of immortality and the bonds of humanity. It was a tale of a mortal's transformation into a creature of the night and the price that had to be paid for eternity. And it was a story of a love that transcended time and mortality, a love that defied the boundaries between the living and the undead. Chapter 3 As the years passed, my relationship with Elena had its moments of joy, but it was also filled with challenges. The allure of immortality began to wane, and I found myself yearning for the simple pleasures of my former life. Our differences became more pronounced, and the darkness that had once drawn us together now seemed like an insurmountable divide. One evening, as we sat in our luxurious penthouse apartment overlooking the city, I couldn't help but feel a growing sense of unease. Elena's immortality had come at a price and her need for blood had become increasingly difficult to manage. Elena, I began hesitantly, I've been thinking about our future. She looked at me with her piercing blue eyes, her expression unreadable. What do you mean? I mean, we're growing apart, I admitted, my voice trembling. Our lives are so different, and I miss the simplicity of being human. I miss the daylight the warmth of the sun, and the ability to connect with the world in a way that we can't. Elena remained silent for a moment, her gaze fixed on the city lights below. Then, with a sigh, she nodded. I understand what you're saying. It's been a long time since I've walked in the daylight, felt the sun on my skin. I miss those things, too. Tears welled up in her eyes, and I knew that my words had struck a chord. We had shared centuries together, but it was time for both of us to find our own paths. I think it's best if we go our separate ways, I said softly, my heart heavy with sadness. We can't deny who we are, but we can choose how we want to live our lives. Elena nodded again, her voice barely above a whisper. I'll always cherish the time we've had together. With a heavy heart, I packed my belongings and left the penthouse, leaving behind the life I had known for so long. It was a painful parting, but I knew it was the right decision. As I ventured into the world as a solitary vampire, I found solace in the night and the anonymity it provided. I roamed the city streets, seeking out dark alleys and hidden corners, finding comfort in the shadows. One night, as I walked along a deserted street, I heard the faint sound of laughter in the distance. Intrigued, I followed the sound until I came upon a park where a group of teenagers had gathered around a small campfire. One girl, in particular, stood out from the group. She had vibrant blue hair that seemed to shimmer in the moonlight and a mischievous glint in her eyes. Her name was Lily, and she exuded a sense of youthful energy and curiosity that drew me in. As I observed from the shadows, Lily suddenly looked in my direction, her gaze locking onto mine. I froze, wondering if she had somehow sensed my presence. Hey, who's there? She called out, her voice tinged with a hint of excitement. I hesitated for a moment, unsure of how to respond, but before I could react, she approached the shadows, her eyes fixed on me. Are you lost? She asked with a playful grin. Or are you just hiding from the world? I couldn't help but be captivated by her fearless curiosity. I suppose you could say, I'm hiding, I replied, stepping into the dim light of the campfire. Lily's eyes widened in surprise as she took in my appearance. Wow, you look different. I chuckled softly, realizing that my vampire features were not something she was used to seeing. Yes. I'm not your typical park-goer. She shrugged nonchalantly. I've seen weirder things in this city. What's your name? I hesitated for a moment, unsure of how much to reveal. Call me Alex. Alex, she repeated with a nod. Nice to meet you, Alex. You can join us by the fire if you want. I accepted her invitation and took a seat by the campfire, where the other teenagers welcomed me with friendly smiles. They shared stories of their adventures and dreams, and I found myself drawn into their world. 
As the night wore on, Lily and I struck up a conversation about life, dreams, and the mysteries of the universe. She had an insatiable curiosity and an infectious enthusiasm for the unknown. I couldn't help but be charmed by her youthful spirit. Over the weeks that followed, I found myself spending more and more time with Lily and her friends. They embraced me as part of their group, and I relished the sense of belonging that had eluded me for so long. Lily and I grew closer, our conversations becoming more intimate and personal. She confided in me about her dreams of traveling the world and experiencing new cultures, and I shared stories of my centuries, long existence, careful to leave out the vampire part. One evening, as we sat on a park bench overlooking the city skyline, Lily turned to me with a thoughtful expression. You know, Alex, she began, I've always believed that life is meant to be an adventure. We shouldn't be afraid to take risks and chase our dreams. I nodded in agreement, touched by her words. That's a beautiful way to live, Lily. She smiled warmly and then leaned in closer, her eyes fixed on mine. Alex... There's something about you that's different, something mysterious and intriguing. I can't quite put my finger on it. I felt a twinge of unease, knowing that I had been hiding my true nature from Lily, but I couldn't bear to deceive her any longer. Lily, there's something I need to tell you, I confessed, my voice barely above a whisper. I'm not like other people. I have a secret, and it's time you know the truth. I braced myself for her reaction, unsure of how she would respond. But to my surprise, Lily simply smiled and took my hand in hers. Alex, I've always had a feeling that there was something extraordinary about you, she said, her eyes filled with acceptance. I don't care what your secret is. All that matters is that you're here, sharing this moment with me. I was overwhelmed by her understanding and compassion. For the first time in centuries, I felt a glimmer of hope that I could find happiness in the human world. As the days turned into weeks, Lily and I continued to grow closer, our connection deepening with each passing moment. We embarked on adventures together, explored hidden corners of the city, and dared to chase our dreams side by side. But little did we know that our newfound happiness would soon be tested by a powerful force from the vampire world, a force that would threaten to tear us apart and plunge us into a world of darkness and danger once again. If you love the story, don't forget to subscribe, 